Now, the first thing we need to get clear is that estimating is not the same as guessing. The idea is that estimating is a method of rough calculation that gives us an answer that's close to the true value, but probably not exactly correct. Estimating is normally used when we only need a rough answer, or if we want to check that our fully worked answer is in the right ballpark. To see what I mean, let's try and estimate what this equals. Now, the idea with estimating is that we need to round each of the numbers involved to something more reasonable that's easier to work with. And generally, we'll round it to something like one or two significant figures. But it's up to you, depending on the particular numbers involved and how accurate you want your answer to be. So here, on the top, we could round the 19.1 up to 20 and the 7.4 down to 7 so that our numerator becomes 20 times 7, which is 140. Then for the denominator, we could round 186.3 up to 190, and 43.3 down to 40, so that we have 190 minus 40, which is 150. Then to work that out, we could simplify the fraction by dividing top and bottom by 10, to get 14 over 15, and then that is around about one. So in the exam, you could just say that the answer is one. Sometimes you might need to use estimation within a real life scenario. For example, imagine that we want to lay down some astroturf in a garden. The garden's 13.2 meters by 7.7 .7 meters and the AstroTurf is 14 pounds 30 plus 18% tax per square meter. And we need to estimate how much the turf will cost altogether. The first thing we need to do here is estimate the area of the garden, which we can do by rounding up our width of 7.7 .7 meters to eight meters, rounding down our length of 13.2 meters to 13 meters, and then multiplying the width by the length to get an area of 104 square meters. Next, we can estimate the cost of each square meter of turf by assuming each square meter is 14 pounds instead of 14 pounds 30, and that the tax is 20% rather than 18%. So by adding 20% to 14 pounds, we get 16 pounds 80, or rounded up 17 pounds per square meter of turf. So now that we know how big the garden is and how much the turf costs, we can finally estimate the cost of the whole garden by multiplying the cost of 17 pounds per square meter by the area of the garden. But instead of using 104, we can round it down to 100 which will give us a total cost of £1,700. So this answer is only an estimate, but it helps to give us an idea of how much the project might cost. And actually, if we hadn't rounded any of these values, the answer would have been £1,715. So we were pretty close. And one of the reasons our estimate was so close is because we rounded up and down pretty evenly which means that a lot of our errors cancelled each other out. Whereas if we had rounded everything up, we would have got something like £2,016, which is a fair bit higher. But even that is in the right ballpark, and that's the whole point of estimating. Anyway, that's everything for today. So, hope you found that useful. If you did, then do give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.